Hey pizza patrons! In this video, I am going to walk you through how to make tomato pie. More specifically, Philly style tomato pie, which is basically just a focaccia-like dough, my sheet pan pizza dough, topped with slow simmered pizza sauce, like New York style sauce, and a dusting of Parmesan cheese after baking. First things first, you want to make your dough. I've got mine going here. It's the sheet pan pizza dough. I let it rise for about an hour and a half. Then I spread it out on my baking sheet. And that's been sitting there for probably 20 minutes now. I'm gonna let it sit for about maybe even an hour or so. Um, while that is going, I also have my oven preheated to 500. You don't have to do it this early, but I already had it ready, so I'm just gonna leave it. You wanna preheat your oven to 500, and then you wanna make your sauce. The slow simmered pizza sauce, otherwise known as New York style pizza sauce, is a little thicker, a little less moisture, and just a little sweeter, more intense tomato-y flavor. That is the classic tomato pie sauce, so that's what you're gonna make today. I'm gonna have that going on the stove. That needs about an hour to cook down. You could do it in less if you have a wider pan, uh, but in a regular medium saucepan, it's gonna take about an hour. So for that, we're gonna need two tablespoons of olive oil in your medium saucepan, and you're gonna heat that over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, again over medium heat, you're gonna add half of a small yellow sweet onion minced. You're gonna let that sizzle. And you're gonna cook the onion for about five minutes, stirring it pretty frequently until it's nice and soft. Just make sure it doesn't burn. The onions are nice and soft. I'm gonna add one can, one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. One tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. few pinches of salt and a few grinds of pepper. And then you want to mix it all up and bring it back to a bubble. Once it starts to bubble around on medium heat, turn it down to medium low heat and let it cook uncovered for one hour until it's nice and thick. The sauce is finished cooking, but it's still pretty hot. So I'm gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes, half an hour, just to cool down a little bit. Um, and that's good anyway, because it'll give my dough a little bit more time to rise and get all fluffy and bubbly. My sauce has cooled down a little bit, and let's be honest, I'm getting a little impatient. So I'm just gonna make this pizza. Remember, this pizza is just crust, tomato sauce, and a little bit of parm on top, so you want your sauce to be extra flavorful. So I'm adding a little bit more salt, a few more grinds of black pepper. Delicious. Great. And then, as I said, you've got your oven preheated to 500. 
You've got your dough, the sheet pan pizza dough, which has had its second resting time on the baking sheet. It's now, oh, this is gonna be so good. All right, use your fingers, give it some pokes. This will just keep it from bubbling up too much in the oven and moving the sauce around as it bakes. And then you wanna put the sauce on. Up to you if you wanna go all the way to the edges. If you like a little bit of a naked uh, crust, that's fine. I'm kind of an edge girl. I like to live on the edge. <laughs> so you probably wanna use this whole recipe of sauce. It's about two cups. And if you don't wanna make your own sauce, you can buy pizza sauce too. It's just that I find there's really no, no real replacement for homemade pizza sauce. And really lay on the sauce on this one because that is what makes a tomato pie a tomato pie. Okay. Then this is gonna go in the oven for 15 minutes, turn it halfway to make sure it bakes evenly, and then we're all ready. When 15 minutes is up, use an offset spatula or another spatula or anything that's thin like this to check underneath to make sure the bottom of the pizza is evenly golden brown. Oh yeah, that is perfect. And there you go. Okay. You can leave the pizza in the pan if you want, but I don't like to cut mine in there because I don't want to ruin my baking sheets. So I'm going to transfer this onto a cutting board. Let's see. We can do this gracefully. I think we just might be able to. This is really hot. I'm just trying not to burn myself. Okay. La 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 la. There you go. If you are vegan or don't want cheese on this pizza, then you're pretty much done. All I would do is give it a drizzle of olive oil. little pinch of salt. You could do black pepper. I'm gonna leave it off this one. And then the last piece is just some grated Parmesan cheese. I went for the good stuff, the Parmigiano Reggiano. Um, go for anything you like. If, if you don't have access to a fancy hunk of Parm, get whatever you can get at the grocery store. Just make sure it's finely grated. You can grate it yourself in your food processor, which is what I recommend doing. That way you know there's no fillers, no extra stuff, just the cheese. So just sprinkle some of that on top, about half a cup up to a cup if you want, and then you're all done. Know if you can see it really well from there, I'll come up here to, to show you. But check out this beauty. It smells so good in here, I can't hardly take it. But I would wait a few minutes just to let it cool down a little bit before you slice it. Because in my opinion, tomato pie is best 
at room temperature-ish. I have waited long enough, and now I am going to enjoy this. This tomato pie, I have a feeling, is going to be exactly what I wanted it to be. All right, let's cut this guy into squares. You can go as small or as large as you want, but we're eating this for dinner tonight, so I'm going big. This is also an awesome potluck thing. Because it travels really well. Are you ready? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Get the perfect slice ready for you. Look at this. Just look at this. It is perfect. Do you see the bottom of the crust? How it's just perfectly browned? The dough, this dough, the sheet pan dough, makes a pizza crust that's not chewy like the New York style or like my one hour dough. Um, it is just so tender. And I'm just, I have to eat this right now. Mmm. Yep, I did it. This is absolutely the tomato pie of your dreams. I am so happy that you watched this video. I really hope you make your own. And if you do, please let me know how it turned out. I cannot wait to keep making pizza with you. Thanks again for your support.